Welcome to the Jacaranda News team this afternoon. It's time now to take a look at the stories that made headlines by midday today. Now, President Jacob Zuma announced this morning that the national order ceremony that was supposed to be held on Freedom Day on the 27th of April has been cancelled. Now, this is due to the recent spate of xenophobic violence that we've seen in parts of Durban and Johannesburg over the last couple of weeks. Zuma spoke earlier today at the Lutuli House. From the leadership point of view, I think there are few things we have not done. Firstly, South Africa had a system called apartheid, which was very violent. For it to be defeated, we as the people had to be violent as well. That culture was not addressed after 1994. We did not sit back and say, our people, we come from this particular period that time has come to an end. We are beginning a new one. Okay. Now, the city of Johannesburg has also launched a mobile app that will make it easier for people in and around Johannesburg to report any incidents of xenophobic violence, looting, or any threats of it of any kind. You dial into this number. You are either able to report a, an attack, you're able to report looting, you are able to report violence or any other uh, thing that you suspect with regards to xenophobia that would enable immediate response from the city's joint operations center to be able to then respond appropriately and timelessly. Now, currently underway in Durban at the Moses Mabida Stadium, King Goodwill Zwilentini is hosting a peace in Bizo against xenophobia. Now, as you would know, King Zwilentini has been in the past linked to controversial comments surrounding foreigners in the country. It is expected that he will be addressing these comments later this afternoon. Thank you for checking in with the Jacaranda News team. We'll be back again tomorrow morning.